Hello, I am Riley and I'm here to show you how to batch render in Sony Vegas. So let's get straight to it. First thing you want to do is have your videos open and in the timeline like such. Um, then what you want to do is highlight the bits that you want to say put as your first video. So let's say I want my video to be end here, right? And it begins at the first bit. Um, then I simply highlight it and on my keyboard I press R. And then this little box will come up, and I type in any part, uh, any name, sorry, and I name the region. What this does is creates a region, so it basically tells Sony Vegas uh, that this part of the video can be like its own chapter or you know something similar. So you do that. Um, you can actually select any part of it. It doesn't have to be connected. You can just select, say, this bit, make make its own region, call that part two. If you want to cut out a little bit. Um, then, once you have selected all the regions, uh, or created all the bits that you want to render out into separate videos, then you go to Tools, uh, Scripting, and Batch Render. Basically, what Batch Rendering will do is it will render one video first, and the moment that's done, it will go on and start rendering the second. It's it's very useful for rendering lo lots of videos at once if while well, you're, you're, you're sleeping or... You don't want to have to keep manually going back to Sony Vegas and restarting the render, etc., etc. Right. So once you do go, once you go to Tool Scripting Batch Render, this will pop up. And first of all, you want to select where you want the videos to be saved. I'll do it in my Fable Free folder. So yeah, click save. Um, so put in any little title you want. It doesn't particularly matter as it gets named after the settings you choose anyway. Then you want to choose the quality of the video. Um, I normally do WMV and oh don't just tick it make sure you press the little plus and then oh, and then you select the actual quality type itself don't just tick it. Then this is very important make sure you select render regions. The little regions we just made these little bits here it will render those into separate videos themselves. So then once you've Done that, selected the quality, click OK. And then you click OK and you render the videos. That's how you do it. And it will start the rendering process just like normal, but then once it's done with one, it will immediately move on to another. So that's it uh, for this video. If you like this tutorial, then like it. If you had any problems, be sure to comment and I'll help you out. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.